Hey guys, this is Chef at Pixelada. I wanted to share with you the uh, Lenovo uh, Yoga Book with the Statler Norris Digital Pencil. Okay? Um, that I want to let you know that it does work. Get some lines going. These are just flicks. You can do. It's harder for me. My hands are kind of clumsy. But you can get some thin lines going. But I don't ordinarily draw thin lines uh, with pressure. I just change the size of the lines with, uh, there we go. I change the size of the lines um, with the brush size tool. But you can do that with this pencil. Um, it's actually easier to do it with the Samsung S Pen because it it feels lighter than the Norse Digital. The Norse Digital has a little heft to it and it doesn't have a button. I wish this thing had a button because I would set that to the eyedropper tool. But you see how much easier it is to uh, get thin lines with the S Pen? I really can't get thin lines with the pen that came with the uh, Lenovo Digital. Because it's kind of janky the way the uh, this pen tip will come out and you can replace it with ink and then draw on paper on top of this pad so that it would record. But the cool thing is all three pens are Wacom EMR pens. Wacom, Wacom, whatever. Um, they all work on any other device that's also EMR. So for example, with the Galaxy Note Pro, it uh, works really well. Let's try and get that in there. The Galaxy Note Pro, Norse Digital. You can see in Corel Painter Mobile that I can change a little bit of pressure. Press hard or soft. And that's the Norse Digital. I can do the same thing with the, uh, the uh, Lenovo pen. But the Lenovo pen is less sensitive to pressure like I can press hard, but I can't get delicate without manually changing the brush sizes, you know? So that's the Lenovo on the yoga book. Not good enough. Anyway, here, oops, what the heck happened? Hit some of this stuff. There. With the uh, with the S Pen, you can see the range of line line weight I can get by changing pressure. You can kind of do it as well with the Norris Digital. Just big blotchy marks or smaller delicate marks but on the Lenovo um, I think the S Pen does really well but the included pen not so much I mean you can go pressure hard and you can kinda get light but to, to reach that sweet spot where the initial activation uh, occurs where you get the super thin line is much easier with the S Pen than the included Lenovo Pen. Um, it's also easier with the uh, Wacom Intuos Pen and Touch. This is not the, the, the Pro version. You can kind of see the it's a little bit more sensitive. The initial activation works really well.
Anyway, yeah, I wanted to uh, share that. Oh, also, I love the fact that I got a $200 uh, gift card for a rebate on my Canon printer, which I used to buy this Lenovo. So this thing was under 200 bucks. And this is like super tiny and it's really cool. And here's the other thing, you can do multi-touch on it, right? Move things around, zoom in and out, rotate very easily. Same thing on the Pro, you can use your multi-touch to move around, zoom in and out, pinch, right? But, um, yeah, I still, I still like working with the Wacom a little bit more than doing it on the, the pad itself. Um, I like the sensitivity of the S Pen, but the length and feel of the Norris is, is superior. Anyway, I just want to share that with you guys. Uh, thumbs if you like it, subs if you loved it. Have a good one. Peace out.